you're going to be seeing the Pokemon Stadium 2 pick uh, for game number one, pretty standard, nothing, uh, nothing to see here. And we are going to end up seeing what the, uh, please, please play Hero Ditto Daryl. Please do it. That's right. Please do it. They're playing with the idea of a Hero Ditto, which yeah. would be... These guys are, these guys are fuds. So. Yeah. These guys are fuds and both also don't give a damn. Uh -huh. So Yeah. Okay, so we do end up seeing the Hero coming through uh, from CBK. Or rather, not Hero. The uh, Zelda, rather, coming through from CBK, which is, uh... His best character, in, uh, in my opinion. Although he has been going more Aegis recently, so in the event that he loses this game to one, that's definitely something that could happen instead. Mm. That's taunt. Love to see it. So if you're CBK here, you want to try to be getting in on Hero when you can, just so that he doesn't get his specials off without without being contested here. Yeah, but at the same general, time, Zelda doesn't want to approach, so I guess that's the issue. Yeah, in general, uh, if you choose Zelda here, you want to kind of exist in that mid-range where you can react to um, you know, them pulling their specials up and either try to punish them for pulling menu or just re uh, reflect any of their projectiles with Nero's love. Um, but also like be far enough away that uh, you don't have to like really fight Hero uh, and his sword moves in close quarters combat. Because that's not great at that, like you mentioned. No, if you're Zelda, so. you do not want to be catching the Hero Nairs and Fares here. So. Yeah, like that's no fun. That is um, not fun. Of course, you know, CBK has been catching quite a few of those here, and he's going to catch an oomph up tilt right here um, to actually end that first stack uncontested. So definitely needs to figure something out if he's going to take, uh, mm. take this game here. At least Zelda has pretty explosive kill moves, and he finally gets some damage on the board, which is definitely a good start here. Yep, nice Zelda kind of scary at close range with the up tilts and nares, but... Uh, Kind of, I still managed to get out of that. Fortunate yeah. for Leaf. Her buttons, her buttons aren't like super, uh, like super great to like just fight people head on with. But the thing that uh, makes Zelda really stand out um, is just the reward that she can get off like landing one of those buttons, right? Because you get an up tilt, you can get like two more into an up air or something like that, or a nair, and that's just a ton of damage. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, and it's also very difficult to land against Zelda with the uh, with the smash attacks uh, being out for a long time, as well as the up air, and then um, you know a lot of people. Or a lot of players um, would just be like, okay, well, you know, if I can't land directly, I'll just go to the ledge. Because generally, that's a pretty good idea in this game. Um, of course, Zelda has the uh, the Phantom, right, as mm -hmm. a ledge trapping tool, which we're seeing here. Doesn't actually get any damage off this, but kind of I still has not returned to neutral. There we go. Nice reversal with the job. Hmm. No, the Phantom is such a scary option, and it can, you can, if you're a Zelda player, you can sort of use it, and then you can see, okay, well, what options is here to response? Went for the guess yeah. on the, what is that, zoom? That's zoom, yeah. Went for the guess on the zoom. That's uh, one thing that, like, one major thing, actually, that Hero's got going for them in this matchup is just, like, uh, sometimes, you know, if you're on the ledge, you just don't have to deal with that stuff, so. Absolutely. That is, uh, that is pretty neat. You can uh, choose not to, which is a nice thing to have. I did not know. You just yeeted her right into the blast zone. Nice up there. That joint will kill that 160 without him for 130 with it, so. Mm. That is, uh... Nice little, nice little kill option here uh, from the hero. Right. Should, yeah, should be an offstage situation now. No zoom here, so we have to deal with Phantom. And he just gets up there so fast that Zelda doesn't even have time to get the Phantom out there, so that is yeah. not good for... CBK is the Zelda, or...? Uh, CBK is Zelda, yeah. All right, so... CBK is Zelda, kind of ice, is the hero here. That's right. Um, kind of ice looking dominant here, of course. Oh, actually, no, that's, that's the nice thing. That's them. the nice <laughs> thing about Nehru's love. Um, oh, and... That's, Honestly, the kind of, that's the kind of range that Zelda wants to exist in. This exactly, the yeah. That's where Zelda wants um, to play if she can help reaction. it. That was not a reaction. Yeah. So. Right, you have some buffs here on Hero. Absolutely. And, and that up tilt. To pay off with that up tilt actually taking That up tilt is, is big as hell. It's funny. It feels like up, Hero's up tilt. Hero's up tilt feels like an up smash. And his up smash feels like an up tilt. But no, yeah. Hero up, up tilt like straight up feels like a smash tag on uh, most is, other characters. It is, yeah. It's the strongest one anyway. So. For sure, for sure. And I'd also argue that it's better than Hero's uh, up smash as an anti-air, just because it takes up more space, it's faster, it doesn't have the chance to crit, um, but it's just you know equally strong no matter what happens. No, it's just so, so it's, yeah, it's very safe, and I think yeah, it, also yeah, like you said, like way safer than it looks. It's not like super safe, but like safer than it looks for sure. Yeah, we do see the E just coming out from CBK mm, here. Yeah. So he just probably has an easier time than Zelda, if I would have to guess. Obviously, you don't have uh, an option to deal with the projectiles like as easily, but you can just get in on Hero and just really yeah. stuff so many swords in Hero's face. Yeah, you don't have you know the option of the reflector, but you do have the option of just you know out mobilitying him uh, as Mithra, right? Absolutely. And, uh, this is also a character, right? That once they do get in on Hero, unlike Zelda, can kind of just like fight them uh, up close, just because Mithra's frame data is really really good, and Hero's is like kind of okay. So. Yeah. Yeah, Hero has much more limited close range options because some of them are just slow as hell. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, very easy for Mithra to stuff some of these options out, and then also very easy for even Pyra to just outrange them. Absolutely. A nice whiff punish there, but it ends up falling out of the Photon Edge. Unfortunate. Nice. Hm. We're gonna see. That's an interesting. That's an interesting Pyra switch because you know it's not at high percent, and it wasn't an edge guard situation. But at the same time, I guess Pyra can cover some ledge options better with her moves. Certainly the side B, I guess. Yeah. No. Pyra in general, Pyra is going to be better for ledge trapping because the hardest thing about Pyra is getting in. Absolutely. And um, is getting in and then having to contest uh, other people's CQC options once you do. But mm -hmm. in a ledge situation, you don't have to like space anything because there's space for you. You don't have to uh, like fight anybody. They're on the ledge. What are they gonna do? Um, and then her moves also obviously do the most damage. So anytime you're in advantage, uh, going to Pyra is a like, generally good idea, uh, just to maximize the kind of damage that you uh, get off that conversion. If you have time for it, of course. Yeah, of course. I mean, it's a 32 frame move. Like, it's not like hard if mm. someone's recovering or something like that, uh, in general. Absolutely. But yeah. The only thing is, like, in this matchup, it is kind of a risk, just because if Hero does pull the zoom as you're switching to Pyra, then you have to at some point switch back. Absolutely, uh, most likely, yeah. Because you're not just, trying to. Because then you get out. Because then the mobility uh, stats are reversed, or like sort of reversed in the matchup. Yeah, exactly. You're not really trying to. Um, you're not going to be trying to fight uh, Hero as uh, Pyra most of the time. Mm. So. So CVK putting up a much better fight on Aegis here, and I think he actually had a percent lead until Heal came in, which is yep. you know some privilege that Hero has there. I actually almost got the guess right on where the zoom was going to land. Just a little bit off. Going to pay with it, uh, mm. for it with his life there with that up tilt. Yeah. It's still worth taking the guess though, because there's no reason not to if you're fighting hero. Yeah, no, like, cause like if, um, like if you're wrong in general. Oh, he has the footstool. Oh, that was really he has the nice. Footstool stuff. stuff. I actually coerced him to learn that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. CBK is a very good friend of mine. Yeah. Some so people, just, like, some people are not that. training mode people by choice. They have to be taught. Yeah, I was just like, dude, you're gonna, you're gonna learn how to footstool off your fucking mm. thing. But um. Yeah, no, like, punishing, trying to punish Zoom, like, there's really no reason uh, to not go for that, right? Because if you're wrong, then, like, you weren't going to punish them anyway, but also they probably weren't going to come be able to get to you before you're out of in lag. Absolutely. So, might as well as... Ends up burning the double jump a little bit early there, not going to be able to recover. Unfortunate stuff from CBK, but Tyra's definitely the kind of character that can make a comeback. This is the footstool here, though. Oh, yeah. CBK could absolutely still make it back, not only because Pyra just hit so hard, but, you know, Mithra gets such a good combo. Myth Mithra's options are so fast that she can just, you know... It's really easy for Mithra to just keep an advantage for a long period of time. Yep. Mithra definitely is the character that uh, keeps you in disadvantage probably the longest of anyone in this game. Absolutely. So. Kind of ice. Looking ready to close this out, though. Getting yeah. all the buffs on individual moves there. Oh, actually does end up... Yeah, neutral B. Yeah, neutral B is a funny option from Pyra, but it does and work. Backer but... is going to take this game and take the set. Um, and yeah. You, you should have, Daryl. You should have you should heard it. Honestly, I think that. I think going it's easy to blame character choices, but I think going Zelda game one is a big issue there. He was just sort of on the back foot at that point, and it was yeah. like because yeah. I feel like if he was on um, uh, Aegis for both games, the adaptations the adaptation could have been a big deal. He very consistently does better with his E 